The Quench, where you ask, we answer. Welcome back to The Quench and another episode is doing it with uh, teenagers aged 18 to 20. And today the discussion is geared to about what we are going to do after school. So the idea is the whole lot of us are planning to finish school in a couple of months, right? And so we need to have a clear outline of what is it that we need to do after school. The do's and the don'ts, the suggestions from our panels and everything within that line. So join me today as we ask the question of what we're going to do after school. Now to start us off, I want to introduce my panelists. I want them to tell us what um, your profession is and why you think you're the best person to answer the question of what to do after high school, specifically in this setting. My name is Paul Waidaka. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm a teacher in this institution. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for around some time, I've been dealing with the students, both who are in high school and others who are in contact, who have left, others are in the universities. Mm -hmm. I believe they have experienced some challenges they go through, some mm -hmm. things they are doing. Uh, so I'm in close contact with some of the students, even who are in universities. So I believe I can handle one or two things. Oh, oh, oh right. nice, nice. I believe you can handle one or two things. Right. I like how you phrased it. Uh, please introduce um, yourself and tell us where you think you're the best person to answer this question. Okay, thank you so much. I'm Rahab Warero. I'm a teacher. I'm the deputy principal in Jomo Kenyatta Girls. Mm -hmm. And I'm a trained counselor. Mm -hmm. So I've taught for more than 20 years. So I've, I've interacted with young people for a very long time, mm -hmm. that is in school and also in the church. Mm -hmm. So I've observed so many of them mm -hmm. uh, growing mm -hmm. and of course finishing form four mm -hmm. and going to college. So I believe I can answer some of these questions. Okay, so with a yes or no, are you both parents? Okay, I'm a parent. Yes. My first born is 25. Mm -hmm. And my second born is 22. Then my last born is 14 years old. So you, you were parents to teenagers? Exactly. How about you, Mr. Waitaka? <laughs> <laughs> I can only say I'm a spiritual parent. Uh -huh. uh, currently, I don't have any child. Uh -huh. And that yeah. is okay because the idea is have, have have you had people with that kind of relationship that have gone through your hands? Yeah. And I believe the answer is yes. Yeah. Right. So we're talking about what happens after school. Now, before we actually try to digest and to break down this um, story based on our panelists, I'm going to come back to my audience and I'm going to ask, what are you planning to do after KCSE? After the hustle of KCSE, you have um, studied, you have done your best. You have gone through the two weeks, is it two weeks? How long is KCC? The main papers? Huh? Oh my God, yes, you've gone through the three weeks of KCSC and you want to now change the narrative. Now, oh, of course, you've taken the break, the necessary break. You want to change the narrative. What are you planning to do? Let me get those answers. Let me get those answers. I'm Lily. So mm -hmm. after Form 4, uh, I would like to join music school. Oh, nice. Yeah, and also learn uh, guitar, how to play guitar. Yes. Oh, nice, nice. She, she's joining music school, musicians in the house. Say woo! woo, -woo. Oh, okay, yeah, press the <laughs> microphone to this side. Mm, so I'm um, Umazi, mm -hmm. and after high school, I like to do driving for, mm -hmm. for like three months, get a certificate and computer and get also a certificate for I'm not being right now, I'm not being computer. You're doing driving for three months, Umazi. Three. Three. Uh-huh. I'm um, Alice. Uh-huh. And when I finish school, I would like to join a school that teaches on makeup. Oh, makeup. Nice. Uh-huh. Oh, these ideas are nice. Makeup, uh-huh. I'm Terry. Mm -hmm. Um, after from four, I like to do the computer driving school the thing. Then I'll go on with my playing. I always play football where I get paid after a match. Now that's what I'll go on doing. Hey, nice, nice. I, I like that. That was very specific and detailed. My name is Lillian. Uh -huh. What I've planned to do after form four, I've mm -hmm. planned to to go and do beauty course because right now. I have some knowledge ya uh, kushukana. So I wanted to 
perfect it and also I'll do computer so that when I go to campus it will be like one of my side hustles instead yeah people what to end I'll be there to clean them oh nice nice <laughs> Um, my name is Magdalene, mm -hmm. and when I finish school, I would like to do computer studies and uh, catering. Yeah, catering. I would like to do beauty, hair and beauty. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm interested in playing instruments, so I'd like to go there and perfect. Oh, them. nice. Uh -huh. For me, I love the way uh, pastors and those great women of God come to fellowship in school for young people. No, I'd like to join those fellowship uh, prayers and maybe to to encourage young people in high schools. Yeah. Oh, that, that is nice. I will clap for yourselves. You guys have such nice ideas. You're making me think about uh, my time after high school and I'm thinking I, I wasted it because I didn't do all of that. So I want to, to start with you, uh, Madam Rahab. I want you to tell us, do you think all of these ideas are viable? And also, I want you to tell us, what other ideas would you advise young people in this age to take up after school? Okay, thank you. I think uh, they are very viable. Mm -hmm. Whatever they, they've said is very good. Now, the issue is that you must plan. You know, there's this thing of saying, I'm going to do this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but you must lay down strategies. Then again, you, have, you must have mentors. Who are these people that are going to lead you to what you want? Mm -hmm. Because now you are fresh from school. What do you know? I mean, about the strategies, you must set your goals, and then you know how you are going to approach uh, all what you, are, you want to do. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, whatever you, you've said, uh, you can do it. But I'm, uh, I'm a bit worried. No one's talked about farming. Yeah, and the, it's a very viable thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, I understand this generation whereby you want, you don't want to touch soil. Huh? But in real sense, <laughs> I expected someone somewhere to talk about farming. Uh, I mean, uh, though we don't have very big farms, huh? but you can just farm on a, on a small portion. Uh, you can grow vegetables, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, also, you can rear chicken, mm -hmm. even rabbits. So I expected, I'm sure there are some agriculture students around here. I don't know why now they are taking agriculture and they can't do such a thing. So I expected that, but I didn't get that. But anyway, I understand you people. Most of you have never farmed, isn't it? But you can start. There's nothing that you can you can't do. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, you can even do much than that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I also expected you to talk about uh, being an artist, somebody yes. drawing. Uh, drawing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Then I also uh, online business. Somebody, somebody said so. Yes. Even for mitumbas, it mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you just do online business for uh, uh, these expensive things, these cheap things, eh? uh, items. You can do online, online business. Also, you can also teach your language. Yes. Yeah. Teach like Kikuyu. like you are, you, you are mother tongue. Oh, oh. Okay. Yes. Though most students nowadays they don't know they don't uh, talk, uh, they don't uh, talk their mother tongue. But for those who know their mother tongue, huh? I'm a language teacher, so I really value languages. Okay. So like if you understand your mother tongue, you can also teach. Uh, I'd like you people to use this TikTok for yeah. good. In, in, uh, in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Teach your language. Teach Kiswahili. You know, I'm really discouraged or rather not happy when I see Wazungu. Wakifunza lugha ya Kiswahili. Lakini wa Afrika wenyewe ambao diyo wanawe zungumza lugha hii. Hasa wa Kenya hawafunzi lugha hii. Kwa hii unaita TikTok. Uneza fundisha Kiswahili. Kuhitaji kufunza kwa mda mrefu, unafunza sentensi mbili au uh, maneno mawili, kisha siku ijayo, vivyo hivyo. So, uh, there are so many opportunities, just that some people don't, don't see them. Also, you can perfect your, your hobby or rather your talent yeah. or a sport. Yes, like she said, football. Yeah, yeah. football. 
you can uh, swimming, isn't it? It's also helping you. So uh, there are so many avenues where whereby you can you can really explore, and you won't be idle. And at times you are going to earn something. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, so um, um, the question I'm going to structure for you is, number one, are all of your thoughts viable? Number two, do at this age, at this point in time, before they know their way, their next um, step forward, are they supposed to be thinking about monetary value? Or are they supposed to be thinking about skills or both? Well, thank you for the question. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the ideas are viable, mm -hmm. but I'm um, on different opinion. Uh -huh. I believe there are some of them want to do like architecture. They want to do engineering. Mm -hmm. My point of advice would be, beside mm -hmm. doing computer and these other short courses, somebody can take a short course in, in uh, or hands-on skills, yeah. like in plumbing. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, we have a serious shortage with, about plumbers, yes, electricians. Yes. Yes. And uh, the few days I've interacted in the school about coordinating water, mm -hmm. I've realized getting a plumber is at all work to do. Yes. And it's only a course that takes around three months. Yes. You earn your money. Again, if you're intending to do engineering, why don't you attach yourself as a volunteer mm -hmm. in a company or in a field? Well, you want, Kono. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that thing I'm to Amkono. Yeah. <laughs> Join Amjengo somewhere. Hey. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, because I think the reason why the government is going back to the CBC mm -hmm. is because we are producing graduates who are good theoretically mm -hmm. in memory, but but, have the but when it comes to issues on hands-on, they cannot say what they cannot try to do it practically. Yes, what they have said in the papers. Yes, so I'd advise: we want to do engineering, electrical. Join a firm that is doing or a contractor who is doing engineering. It's begin learning. You want to do drawing or architecture, join, uh, join somewhere there is a building, mm -hmm. attach yourself, begin to know this work, learn what they are doing. Otherwise, you, that's why you find so many graduates are employed, mm -hmm. unemployed. Mm -hmm. And you see now many employers are going to the diplomas mm -hmm. and the certificate graduates because we have degree people who have no hands-on. So I would think possibly you want to do baking. There's a student who was saying you want to do baking. Yes. I would encourage them, do that. Not to get employed. You can employ yourself. These days, somebody talked about bash. These days, there are so many birthdays and so many events where a cake is important. You could be making your own money. Again, you are getting skills. Yes. So that even if you do hospitality, you do catering, you have already done it at home before you join the university. Mm -hmm. Rather than just waiting to go to the university, mm -hmm. then go look for a job. Yes. These days, I don't, I don't want to discourage anybody. But there are many graduates who are tamaki. Yes, there now, are many. Now they don't have skills, number yes. one. They cannot produce what they are saying. So the device, join a company. Like Madame has talked about mentors. Who are your mentors? You want to go to the media, join a media house as a volunteer. Yes. You don't have to wait to go to the college or university. Mm -hmm. Join a church where they are live streaming. Volunteer yourself. You can live stream. Yes, you yes. get some skills. Yes. Join some videography. Mm -hmm. You can buy your camera instead of looking for a job. Okay, get a small a camera yes. and begin doing that. In the expense you are building your name, mm -hmm. you'll come up with a company. Mm -hmm. That's why you have some students who are still students mm -hmm. and they, are, they have their own company they are building. Yes. yes. Right. Okay, let's just clap for what both of them have said. They have given us very um, nice initiatives. Okay. Um, Madam Rahab has asked, why are, you not, why are you people not thinking of farming? Why? There is so much that comes from the land, right? We eat from the land. If you ate today, a farmer was involved. Why are we not thinking in that direction? Yet we are getting these skills in schools, yeah? We want to become, you want to become a journalist. Why can't you just go and volunteer your skills in a media house? By the end of the day, you might actually uh, discover you don't like the media as much as you said, and that saves you four years, you get? It's a lot of things that you can learn. Now, so let's now um, change the um, agenda and talk about the challenges that people face after school, okay? Let's talk about them from you don't get the grades that you want, so you're, you're not going to go to university. What are some of the challenges that you face on that note? Let's, as, let us also look at the peer pressure. What do your peers uh, make you do, yeah? Let's talk about them. Let's talk about the challenges. What are these challenges that people face after school so that we can find the solutions to these challenges as we answer the question of what is next 
after school. Tell me, what are those challenges that you anticipate, you have seen people face? Yes. Um, hi, my name is Tracy. Mm -hmm. So, God forbid, but if you fail in your KCSE after the results come out, you find that the parents will treat you differently. Mm -hmm. and you get it you find a hard time mm -hmm. and you just lose hope so it's a challenge yeah that is a very big challenge and it leads to things like um, mental health issues depression stress and things like that yes i'm elizabeth mm -hmm. i think some of the challenges that people face is too high expectations or rather i might say uh, imaginations like when you're here in school you ask someone what do you want I want to go out there make money have a big house mm -hmm. have, drive a car yeah. but when you get out there you find that things are different we took a ground different and then you are like it's so hard for you to adjust and you get out or you end up nini, in drugs depression and because uh, what you expected is not what you get yes yes you guys are saying you lead it will lead to some sort of like Depressions, yeah, because you have high expectations, because things will start being different for you. People start treating you differently. Whether you fail or not, by the time you finish school, you become a different person. We can agree that, right? So for peer pressure, like you will find that girls after high school, they are forced by the not forced, they are incited by their peers that you can't go to university without doing some sort of things. So you find that most of them get pregnant. <laughs> And as long as they fail to join university at the required time. Oh, oh, okay. All right. When you say some sort of things, I was thinking about a lot of things. Then you said pregnant and he's like, oh, okay. Yeah, now I know. <laughs> um, the challenge that I think most of the youths face um, after school, maybe let's say you've not passed. Um, many of the youths think that alcohol and drugs is the solution to your stress. Now they use it, use it, and then they become addicts. Now then you find, um, like, I don't know, most of them think that when you go to maybe a birthday party um, of someone who is, uh, okay, let's say a youth, uh, they believe that the party maybe it's not going to be perfect until there is alcohol and all that. Now I think this uh, alcohol leads to addiction and it leads to failure of many youths. Yes. Mm, okay, so alcohol and drug abuse. We talked about the other one that gets you pregnant. Let's talk about all of these challenges. They are true, they are happening, right? We're talking about um, depression that comes about whether you're going to go or you're not going to go. There's some sort of depression that comes about it, right? Let's talk about the, the pregnancies, the getting into drugs and things like that. And then the interaction, the interpersonal relationships with your parents, your relatives changes. How do these people circumvent that if, God forbid, it happens? So uh, after form four, there are so many challenges. One, uh, your life will be, will be determined by the grade that you're going to get. And in our system, that is Kenyan, education system, that is 844, grades matters. So it's like after form four and you have not passed, most of the students, what happens, they go down. Again, the expectations of the parents. There've been a lot of pressure from the parents. Now, here it depends how the parents is going to handle these students mm -hmm. who have already finished. Yes. Because there are those who are going to uh, to reprimand them. Mm -hmm. You have not passed. You've wasted my fees. So that is going to contribute to their mental state. Mm -hmm. Because if the parent doesn't accept what this child has gotten, there is other pressure again, such that now this kid or rather this student is going to uh, to hate herself or himself. Mm -hmm. And that's why they go into stress. After stress, some go to depression. They think no one loved them because they failed that exam. So here, uh, for me, I've been thinking more of parenting skill from the parent, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the way you are going to handle your children. Yes. Again, the pressure that you give them. Mm -hmm. Because again, they are not the same. Not, not all students will go to university. Doesn't mean that you, if you go to university, you're going to, to be successful. Yes, it doesn't. Okay, so uh, one, uh, I think uh, this goes to parents and also to teachers. Mm -hmm. Teachers should guide the student to accept what they, they get. Mm -hmm. And to thank God 
If you go at sea, you know you will go to university. But th that doesn't mean that you have failed. So love, yes, there are so many courses that you can do, rather you can even take and be successful. Mm -hmm. uh, again, the parents should be talked to, even in parents' meeting, so that they, they, they bring up their child, their children in the right way, yeah. not to put a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, things have changed with this generation. Mm -hmm. Like during my time when I was young, you know, after university, mm -hmm. uh, I remember I finished in July. And in September, I was posted to a school. Mm, nice. So we used to leave college with a letter where you are going to. Mm -hmm. Things and have changed. changed. You see now. What does this mean? Those days we used to rely on employment. Everything has changed socially. Right? Mm -hmm. Because now you are our children. But uh, now you have to come up with other, uh, other ways of survival. Now this go much to the parents, making their children more responsible. Mm -hmm. How can they survive without them? Yes. So at times, even as a teacher, I observe the way parents treat these students, mm -hmm. especially in high school, and I really sympathize. Mm -hmm. I really sympathize because I ask myself, will this girl be responsible one time? So it's an issue of being responsible and surviving. Yes. <laughs> in this and the world. Life is surviving. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you must get the survival skills. Yes, you have to have the survival skills. Don't not relying on your parents. Now we are seeing you you complete the form for uh course, the four uh, the four years course. We are still depending on your on your parent. Okay. That's what now no, why you talked of uh the side hustle. What are you going to do before before you join university? You see now, when we were in school, we, were, we used to be in the university and we were still paying fees for our siblings. So we had to do some things. <laughs> That's why I was you getting. <laughs> yeah, we had to do some things to survive. Yeah. Because you know now, uh, life was like that. But now, now that this life is like this, things have changed. Most of you won't pay your siblings school fees, isn't it? Because your parents are working. It's your money. It's you and your money, whatever you're going to get. But what are you going to do with this money? Are you responsible? So uh, what I'm trying to say is this. Uh, the whole thing of the challenges, you have to think about your life. Yes. How are you going to survive in this world? Remember, there are so many things that you can get into that can destroy your, your life. Yeah, I get it. So, uh, and again, uh, this is a two-way traffic. As I said, the parents must make you responsible. All right. Okay. And then you have to accept that. Right? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I like to say, she talked about survival skills, but mm -hmm. she also passed a message to the parents. Mm -hmm. They have to make you surviving individuals and responsible. And with that, let's take a break. The Quench. Where you ask, we answer.